I mean, yeah, if, if we can talk about this for a second, just to sp spend some time. Because, yeah, high density of positive, that's the thing. It really requires a very exceptional game to do well with a short score. Short score. Believe it or not, uh, despite the fact that I you know, consider density in the golden number equation, you have to understand, I also consider um, relative continuance of quality. I think is how I'm going to explain that. In other words, a good game that's good for three hours equally somehow is going to score worse than a good game that's like 30 hours that retains the same level of good throughout. Make sense? Like if a long game stays good, it's going to stomp a short game that stays good. That's that's how the system is designed. Um, I think the only exception to that fact here, I can actually sort by hours really quick. So if we scroll down to like the really short games down here, there's Mega Man 5, which is one of the best Mega Man games ever. Portal 1, need I say more? Uh, Mega Man 11, the best Mega Man game ever. Uh, let's see. That might be it, honestly. I mean, there's several other Mega Man games. There's Modern Warfare 2. That scored extraordinarily well. Uh, yeah, that actually might be it. That might be the exceptions that prove the aforementioned rule. Because if you look at the actual best... Hang on, hang on, let me sort by score really quick here while we're just chilling. Uh, we've got a 12-hour game in order from top to bottom. We've got a 13-hour a game, a 12-hour game, a 4-hour game, a 38-hour game seven-hour game, a 30-hour game, a two-hour game, a 40-hour game, a 12-hour game, and a 20-hour game, and hang on, I got three more here. 12-hour, uh, nine-hour, 16 hours. That's like all the games that are above 200 in score. And you see what I mean? Like, there's a clear trend there if you actually look at the graph, which, yes, I have graphs, too. If you look at the graph... It's it, There's a definite trend towards longer games. I say longer being better. That being said, the problem, of course, is maintaining that quality. If you have a 120-hour game, Persona 5, and it has constant dips in quality, it's just not going to score as well, right? Here. So the pixelization right now is big and crunchy, which is what I prefer. If you want, it also look like this. That just looks terrible to me, honestly, but... You know, what the hell do I know? Okay. Sure, let's try it. That is extraordinarily strange to control. Put out over the water immediately there. Camera. Camera! Oh god! Oh god! Okay, we're back at the house. Good day, Zenny. Take White Beach Trail, head north to the fork, and follow the signs for Hot Peak. Okay, we now have an objective, which we are, of course, immediately going to not do. Come on, get in the boat, fish. Come on, get into the boat, fish, fish. Join me, fish. Ah, okay, can't do anything. I don't think I've ever hated fishing in a game. I just don't think I've ever liked fishing in a game. There's a difference. Dive bombing the fish would be pretty difficult to do. So we're gonna do it! Let's get some speed. And let's ready to dive bomb. Come here, fish! Yeah! I don't think I got it. Well. Now I have a pickaxe. Two, actually. In fact, I'm about to have three. Into the stormy weather! The storm reminds me of the great darkness that lurks beyond the void that waits for us all! In the end, there is nothing but infinite bleak horror. You can tell by the music how bleak this game is.
Yeah, no kidding, Crazy Horse. Yeah, this is actually a horror game. Of course it is. It's an indie game that looks light, colorful, and happy. Of course it's a horror game. Okay, real talk. Have you noticed how many indie horror games use that exact same formula? Ah, innocence, childlike, horror, and death. Oh, look, hang on. Gotta get the shell. I don't know what shells are for, but by God, there's a thing I can collect, and this is a video game. I should probably mention there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. No, really. There's nothing wrong with seeing something successful and being like, aha, proof of concept. What's wrong with that is what most people do isn't actually take that and run with it. They usually bullet point it. And I know this is going to sound weird and honestly kind of out of date at this point, but once upon a time, there was actually a game company who did exactly that as their primary modus operandi. To look at other ideas from other games and try to implement them better. Blizzard. Or we could discover an entirely new island out of the blue. Who are you? Find me 15 shells. What? Why? I want them. Yeah, but why? It's a secret. Okay. I'll keep an eye. Keep both eyes out. All right, jeez. Uh, what'd you say? You feel lost and directionless? Uh, maybe? Well, I got just the thing for you. You got the compass. Hey, dude. What's happening? Oh, uh, you know. Jamming out on the beach. Building sand sandcastles and whatnot. I almost said snowcastles. Sounds like a good time. You know it. Where are your shovel? Sorry, bud. I need it for sandcastle construction. Isn't it a little big for that? Yeah, but that's just how shovels are. You can get smaller ones. One's made for sandcastles. What? Sounds fake. But if you can show me one, I'll be glad to trade. Climb. Climb. How do I climb? What are you up to today? Uh, I'm hiking up to Hawk Peak. That's a tough hike. You know, you'll need to learn a rock climb to make it to the top. Why not join a rock climbing club? Oh, uh, it's just the two of you? Hey! Rock Climbers Association has hundreds of members spanning over 35 countries worldwide. Hundreds of members growing and refining the art of rock climbing. Pushing the craft to its absolute limit and beyond. I meant, if it's just the two of you, like, here? What of it? Listen, kid, climbing ain't for the weak of heart. Most people don't have what it takes. Uh... It's not really that bad. So anyway, you want to join the Clamber Scub? Yeah, sure. Great. Got a third member. Not third. Just another drop in the hundreds worldwide. All right, all right, all right. Anyway, first things first. You got a golden feather? No. Ah, uh, you can't climb without a golden feather. I'm actually not lost yet, no. I am roaming. And what's really, really disturbing in a Breath of the Wild kind of way is I haven't ran out of locations to roam to yet. My to-do list is growing larger, not smaller, and it's frightening. Like, I gotta get the shovel by finding a smaller shovel. I gotta get the feather to be able to climb. Uh, I've gotta get the fishing rod in order to be able to go fish. And, oh God, I don't even remember what else. There's there's several things still. How can I help you? I heard you sell golden feathers. How would you? You can buy one for 40. 40 coins! What else do you got? Provincial Park merchandise. Kind of low on stock. That's good, actually. It's been busy season. Provincial Parks must be trending or something. It's possible. Anyway, only have one hat left. 100 coins. Done! Cosmetics? You're all out of cash now. How about I throw in a free golden feather? Oh, thank you. I was buying the... I literally just bought the cosmetic instead of the quest item. And he just gave me the quest item. Hey, what's your painting? Oh, you can't tell? It's an acorn. It's supposed to be the coastline. That's not the coastline. I'm trying to go for a more abstract look. Small shovel. And yes, okay, here we go. Check out the shovel I found. Might be a little more of your size. Oh, it's perfect. It's tried. You got the shovel. It's what I like to call the Pokemon joke, Magister, because it's like, oh, yay, it's evil and dark and horrible, and it's like, yeah, okay. It's secretly cockfighting. Yeah, uh -huh, sure, whatever. That's not what I was expecting to happen. I can make it. I can make it. No! I couldn't make it because this is a grim, dark game. 
filled with grittiness and darkness, just like the bleak existential darkness of my soul darkness. Yum, yum, yum. So let's see if we can get two of these. We can! Nice. See you around, Alex. Have a good day at work. How about that race? Let's race! Oh, Jesus. She's just going. Look at her! Look! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! I don't even know where I'm going to. I'm already behind. Gotta go. Must go faster. Must go faster. I don't know where the goal is. I'm just making it up as I go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no, no. Getting stuck on geometry. Yeah, this is Mario 64 all over again. Some people. That's a good thing, right? No! Mario 64 is not that good of a game. This is the wrong route to take, but I'm still taking it. Ugh. Oh my god, I made it. That water's really like look at that. That's that's not a small amount. Oh god, the whole island's sinking. I sincerely doubt it, Tim. Where'd the bucket go? Oh my god, I just have the bucket on me! I just came all the way back up here to get the bucket, and it's just in my invent. So, so there's the graveyard. Ooh. Are you painting in the rain? Oh, strawberry shortcake. Is that possible? I'm trying. I don't have a lot of time. The exhibition's next week. Oh, okay. Nothing's been working so far. I finally got invited to show my work in the city, but everyone there's doing amazing contemporary work. I don't know if I can keep up, but your stuff is beautiful. You know who's curating the curating the event? Ian Artsworth. Famous contemporary artist, Ian Artsworth. He personally invited me to participate, and and I'm going to show up with my boring landscapes, and he's going to take one look at them and whisper, this fails to resonate with me, and probably karate chop them in half. What? He won't do that. He could. He's also a black belt, so it's definitely possible. <sighs> but you're right. Trying to paint here is useless. Maybe I'd have better luck at Outlook Point. You want to know how many backup plans I have? You ready for this? Because this is not a joke. You're all going to make fun of me. You're going to laugh and be silly and be like, wow, that lore, he's so dumb. I have backup plans in case something like The Matrix, a.k.a. Simulation Theory, is real. Um, I do like how they're using the music. Music is per zone and smoothly uh, fit, not only fits the zone, but they're also using absence of music appropriately. Did you notice that? Like, you know, you... <laughs> Picture Mario Brothers for just a second. I know. So, Mario Brothers. And as you're going through the stage, imagine if the music changed to fit the specific part of the stage you're at. And that's kind of what you got here. Which is funny, because actually Mario Brothers does do that in the 3D games. Especially Odyssey, to use a recent example. You get my point. I like it. It's not quite Yoshi drums. That's different. The budget of this game. Do we know the budget of this game? Before I give my wild and inaccurate guess. What update is Bloodstate waiting on? Co-op! Freaking co-op! Where the goddamn hell is my Bloodstained co-op? How's it going? Good. Fish are all biting today. Cool, cool. So, uh, is fishing hard? Nope. It's easy. Kids at home? Fishing is not easy. I could show you if you'd like. Yeah. Here. I'll lend you my spare rod. I mean, that's the goal, apparently, Shadow Machine. We just need to keep asking stupid questions. I'll lend you my spare rod. Yay! Casting line's pretty easy. Just press B. Okay, fair enough. Fishing is easy if you don't care about catching anything. Speaking of which... So, uh, what do I do now? You wait. Oh. Okay. Uh. 
Am I doing this right? Yep. Maybe I should cast it again? You know, find a better spot. This spot is good. Saw some fish around here earlier. That's a good sign. Sometimes you just gotta wait. Patience is key. Ah, not my strong suit. The Goliath! Fish is nibbling. Should I pull? Not yet. You gotta wait for it to bite. Now! Press B. Uh, what do I do now? Pull back and tap B. Oh god! Uh, interesting technique. It was just an accident. That's alright. Let's give it another shot. Remember, once you hook the fish, pull back. Which, in this case, is relative. I'm so stoked to eat breakfast, but it's already the afternoon. Tomorrow's breakfast. It's the best meal of the day. Sometimes, I'm about to go to bed. I get so excited by the thought of it, I have trouble sleeping. Okay. I like breakfast too, but like, here. Maybe, maybe chill a little bit, buddy. Yes, this setup is 100% legal. Uh, yes, I have a valid camping permit. Wait. Fine, fine, you got me. Hold on. I lost it. I'm a terrible liar. I'm a mess. Uh, please don't write me up. I can bribe you! Did you really just hand me a fistful of worms? It's fishing bait! I'm desperate! What would you do? Well, uh, doesn't matter. I'm not gonna tell anyone. Wait, really? Aren't you a junior ranger? Nope. My aunt's a ranger, but I don't work for her. Oh well. You won't tell, right? Nah. Good. I guess. You can keep the bait. Thanks. So was this the shell guy? Hey, I got your shells! It was! I'll take them! So now what? What? I mean, uh, do I get anything? No! Jeez, not even a thank you? It's not very nice. I do what it takes to survive. I never promised you anything. Actually, I do have something for you. A new job! I already have a job. Mel, make this your side gig. What if I don't take it? It's your loss! Good jobs are hard to find. So it'll be. Fine, whatever. Take this. Shell necklace. Deliver it to Ranger May. That is all. Okay. Joke overload. Liberty. Oh, wow, it's so pretty. She's such a sweet girl. I think all those shells must have been a lot of work. Well, actually. Ah, never mind. I remembered something. I found this golden feather in the cabin. I figured you could use it. Thanks. Most disliked class in WoW? Weird timing. Is like a word for delivering the necklace? No. Huh. Disliked class in WoW. Do I dislike any class in WoW? No, I do not. So, what's my least liked class in WoW? If I could make any animal species talk intelligently, which would it be? I mean, dogs. That's that's a really easy answer. They're already pretty much our partner as a species. Just commit to that. I'm not gonna make that. I'm not gonna get close to that. Not even halfway. Oh my god, okay. Hey kid! Buy some golden feathers? Yeah, I'll coin. 100 coins. But that's more than twice as much as the Vinter Center. Go buy feathers from them. Them then. Maybe I will! So you're gonna buy my feathers or what? Nope. To the visitor center. Ba ba da ba. Ba ba da. Ba ba da ba. I don't remember where it is. Ba ba da ba. Ba ba da. Hey, Sharp. What's up? Can I buy a golden feather? Sure. It's actually all the feathers we have. Boy came early and bought most of our remaining stock. That jackass! Oh, I hate price gouters. Wow, we really can just go up the waterfall. That's hysterical. Sorry, I was curious if there was anything behind the waterfall, and, well, that was the result of that action. 
Yeah, even I have a tough one, and I find that a tough one. And of course, Crobat's my favorite. So my sources say you've delivered the goods. Your sources are correct. So what about that pay? Okay, okay, here you go. Enjoy your shells. What's your deal? My deal? <laughs> What's your deal? I'm hiking to Hawk Peak. Oh wow, sounds kind of basic. Hey, I'm just saying. Tourists come from all over. They're like, I'm gonna hack to Hawk Peak. Then they get up there. See, it actually takes real effort. Then they give up. Jeez, you don't have to be like that. I'm just saying, it's a little basic. So, what is your deal? I gave you mine. I need money. Ugh, I'm gonna be short on tuition next semester. I'm nearly there, though. I'm trying to make some extra cash. Huh. How much you need? Well, after I sell all my junk, I'll still be short about a 400 coins. Yeah, but whatever. That's life, I guess. So I need 400 coins. How many do I have right now? 336. Oh, wait, I could have gauged which direction it was in. Yeah, it, so... Oh. Apparently only get so many feathers this high up. Oh my god. And once they go away, they stay away until we get into warm areas. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got a bunch of these... This ain't helping, Claire. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Oh, absolutely, Ross. There's some people I, that are just gone, and there's nothing for that. Hey, uh, seems like you really got in the hang of climbing. Yeah. Hey, uh, come. I think I'm stuck. Tim, it's too high. What have I done? I can't do this. Tim, take a deep breath. Try my calm. You're doing great. You know you can handle this. Can I? What am I doing? Just focus on the next step. You got this. I've got this? I've got this. Uh, this might take a while. We'll catch up with you later. I'll make sure he's okay. Yeah, don't let him fall. Speaking of someone used to rock climb for fun. Okay, so there's a heating pool. This game already has a better uh, cold mechanic than Subnautica Below Zero. Yep, we're doing all this so we can get some cell reception. We can finally play some video games. God. You want money for tuition? Wait, what? Really? Yeah, sure. But why? Uh, I found most of this just by looking around the island. I'm pretty good at finding stuff. Wow. Uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah, it's 400 coins, right? Here you go. Thanks. Um, you can have this. Wristwatch. There's the freaking watch? It's like the only thing I hadn't found this whole time. I, uh, found it. I was gonna sell it on the internet. But I don't need it anymore. Huh, okay. Do we have a monosyllabic insult word we could use? Dude bags! <laughs> crypto bags. Oh, I hate the crypto bags. How far can I just jump in the air right now? That is a lot of height. Almost from water level. Did you see that? Holy crap. <sighs> um, position. Okay, so let's see. Can I zoom in? Can I do anything? Oh, I can. It's right there? It's right there? And the dress. Yeah, she's also wearing the dress. Okay, so I know where it is now. It's right by the freaking starter area. I like the Yoshi drums of this part of the mountain, I really do. I think we made it. Whew. 
I... I did it. Pulls out his phone. Open reception. Hello? Hi, Claire. Mom! So glad to hear from you. I've been waiting all day to hear from you. I've been worried. Aw, oh, honey, I told you I'd be fine. Yeah, but you always say that. And I always am. Anyway, how have you been? Well, I'm at the top of Hawk Peak right now. Ooh, wow, I love it up there. May and I used to go up every summer together. It's about time you made it up. Yeah, I know. You're so big now. My little girl's leaving the nest. You won't have any need for little old mom. But I do need you. I'll never not need you. When I heard about the surgery... You never told me this was a thing. I didn't want you to worry. But I know you can get worked up about things. I could have been there for you. You're all alone there now. Really, it was nothing. Everything was fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I love you, Mom. I love you too. Wait, something's happening? Yeah, it's an active volcano. They mentioned that earlier. Was that the famous Hawk Peak updraft? Uh, looks like it. You should catch a ride on it now. Before it fizzles out. I want to... But I'm kind of nervous. Claire, you can do it. I'll come visit you soon, okay? Also, don't forget to say hi to Aunt May for me. She's probably waiting for you back at the college. I love you. Me too, Mom. And then Shepard shoots us. Don't trust Shep. Sorry, sorry. Have a good one. I think it'd be nice to take a break. Final score. Plus 5 to story, which is 1.85 points per hour. And that's a 100% ratio, because I couldn't think of any store negatives. And plus 5 to gameplay, which sounds familiar. Um, that is a density of 1.85. And, of course, has a ratio of 85.71%. That gives us a final golden number of 31.04. Now, 
that's pretty low. And honestly, I kind of stand by that. Because that's kind of how the golden number system works. There's not a lot of meat on these bones. But it is a fairly dense game. So, what little is there is good. That puts this, for example, better than... Well, that's not saying much. Better than Mega Man 9, for example. But yeah, it's compact, it's short, it's simple. It's also got really good ratios and really good density. Let me use a comparison. So, Mega Man uh, 9... Or, no, I'm, I'm reading that wrong. You know what? Here's a good comparison. Super Mario 64 got a 19.21. Which is worse, obviously. However, Super Mario 64 did have more gameplay positives. However, not only did it have worse density, 0.82, it had much worse uh, ratio of 66.67%, as opposed to this game's 1.85 and 85.71%, right? As always, the golden number is, of course, the final number, but the whole point is to try and get across all the information, which is why I usually make all that information publicly available. It's also slightly better than Mega Man X7. 